action. All right, Matt is butterfly guard. So we're going to do some butterfly uh, guard attacks. We're going to do guillotine choke for butterfly. So here's the thing. If we're attacking the butterfly, we can attack on our feet or kneeling. If I'm going to keep at a distance here, Matt might be able to get up. Don't get up, Matt. He's just going to quickly stand up. So if I want to keep pressure on him, come down. So I'm going to get in here. He can't stand up here. So, and from this position, we're going to hand fight. So Matt is probably going to try to fight the hands right here. I want to control this right side because I'm going to use my right leg dominant to attack. So from here, I'm in here quickly. I'm just going to grab this. You can grab this wrist. It doesn't really matter. You can put it here. And I'm quickly stand up in here with this hand. From this position, Matt is probably going to grab this. And this hand is going to let go and grab my leg. But I want to prevent that. So we're down here. First important thing, we always fight the wrist. That's the most important thing with the attack. Come in, step up. Matt comes in here. And I just quickly, before he can come in, because I'm going to see his head, as he has come in, I quickly whoosh, grab it. Grab it, grab the leg. Here, and I'm just going to bend over him and with the seatbelt, pull up. It's kind of like, it's a guillotine choke, but it's a different variation. So a little bit faster. Thank you, Mr. Jules. 